हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल इट्स यूनिट सिक्स पार्ट एफ लेवल्स ऑफ न्यूनेटल केयर इन दिस वी विल क्लासिफाई द केयर गिवन टू द बेबी बेस्ड ऑन द लेवल ऑफ द डिसीज फॉर एग्जांपल इफ द बेबी इज जस्ट सिक जस्ट बाय गोइंग टू हॉस्पिटल द बेबी विल गेट क्योर्ड नो नीड ऑफ एनी एडमिशन इन द हॉस्पिटल देन दिस केयर कम्स इन द लेवल 1 दैट इज नॉर्मल न्यूबॉर्न नर्सरी नॉर्मल केयर प्रोटीन चेकअप that is enough for this level whereas if this baby goes to hospital and there is an admission is necessary baby has to stay in the hospital for 3 days like that then that comes in the level 2 that is special care newborn nursery while if the baby have to get admitted in the nicu like uh, around 1 week more than 2 days that comes under level 3 and if the baby has to specifically go to a particular uh, specialized hospital and uh, continue the course for 2 to 3 months then this comes under level 4 that is regional nicu level 1 has two types level 1a and level 1b okay these are the two types in the level 1 level 1 is nothing but providing the care but not admitting in the hospital that comes under level 1 in this level 1 there are two types a and b a is nothing but routine checkup see when the baby is born for the first very beginning day we will take the measurements of the baby and we will inform the baby's mother to come after one month for routine checkup that comes under level 1a while in level 1b if you see if there is any problem in the baby for example the baby is ill if the baby is having any fever we will provide medicine for that baby and send the baby to the house this is level 1b next level 2 in level 2 there are two types that is level 2a and level 2b okay here in level 2 the patient will be admitted in the hospital and the care will be provided by the nurse in level 2a if you see there is no such emergency the patient may have some kind of infection or some like 3 days of course medicine should be provided so the patient will be admitted in the hospital there is no regular monitorization is required in this condition and oxygen is not provided for this patient the condition is okay whereas in level 2b if you see the patient will be placed under the ventilation and regular monitorization should be done and hourly measurements should be taken that is of the vital signs is one step behind the nicu okay next level 3 in this level 3 we have three types a b and c level 3 a level 3 b and level 3 c okay the first one is nothing but placing the patient in the nicu and observing him we are providing the medications to him but not very severe method so if you see in level 3 b the patient will be placed in the ventilation and uh, fluids medications all will be provided in the high dose monitor graph will be running beside him or her the nurse should keep on monitoring the patient and keep informing the details to the doctor this is how level 3 b works level 4 is nothing but regional nicu that is nothing but a specific nicu and it has only one level there is no division between them for example if a baby has a problem in heart he will be placed in the heart section heart specialist will deal with him like that if the baby has any problem with the kidney the kidney section will be like kidney specialist will be dealing with him this is regional nicu and it is the last level of the care 